Well, good morning and welcome to another video. Today I'm heading off for a two-nighter to uh, Lake Lonsdale near Stall. Going to do a bit of mountain biking at Ararat on the way up there. I've ridden that park before. It's quite good, but it's small. Anyway, um, first of all, um, I've got to go down and pick up a uh, new part for my awning that hopefully might protect me from the rain because we're going to get a bit on uh, Tuesday night. So I'll test that out. But first of all, I better pump up my tyre. And here we go, the new Batwing extension, which should come in very handy for this trip. Well, this is One Tree Hill. I was up at the lookout on my Yarri Ambiak video, which is up in there, had a lookout up there. And um, I did a bit of mountain bike riding here last time, but I don't think I did any filming, so. Lovely little spot. I have heard that they've got a three million dollar grant here to improve the track, so that's always going to be a good thing. So, a bit of a picnic ground here. So, I'll get set up and um, go for a ride.
Well, I've arrived at Lake Lonsdale. This was the first campsite I had picked out. And um, no one here. Great, perfect. Got myself a fire pit, checked my wind direction. So I think if I put my camp up in that vicinity there, I should be fine. Anyway, first things first, I've got to get my slow cooker going and my solar panels out. So I'll do that first. Well, this is the um, Rhino Whack rhino rack bat wing tapered extension that i got so the first time i ordered it, i ordered the wrong size so now i've got the right one it took about two months to get but um let's get it up and um see what it looks like Well that's it set up, certainly looks like it offers some good protection there from the sun and the rain which is what I'm looking for, so it's going to rain late tomorrow, early Wednesday morning when I'm packing up so that'll be interesting but you can obviously hear zip on another portion so you could buy another one if you wanted one and put there which would probably give it a lot more rain protection it might be something i'll look at in the future but at this stage we'll see how we go with that and here we are down at lake lonsdale this is the campground on the north side of the lake and about 10 15 k's out of stall i have it to myself which is just the way i like it as we know from my channel it's just beautiful a few ducks a few swans out there now tomorrow i believe i'm heading up here somewhere mount difficult and if you remember my last video I had Mount William, which is that one right there, because I can see the tower on top. So that's the highest peak in the Grampians. This lake is very popular with water skiing and water sports, although I saw a sign as I came in saying there's a blue-green algae bloom, so interesting to see whether it's allowed here in summer. I'd say it's uh, still got a fair bit to go before it fills up, but uh, still a lovely spot to camp. And this is the campground. It's the Diggers Rest East campground on Lake Lonsdale. Plenty of campsites. Bring your own firewood. There's one, two, about four fire pits. Plenty of areas to camp. It would be very busy during Christmas holidays, school holidays, normally. Um, but with Melbourne still in lockdown, I have it to myself. So if I would have come in here and there would have been a lot of people, I would have found somewhere else. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just going to go back and uh, have another beer. This is really lovely. Beautiful sunset over the Grampians and difficult further on down to Alds Gap and Mount William in the middle. The only thing is I am not going any further towards the lake. Uh, you may 
may see a few mozzies in the screen, I don't know, I doubt it. But if I go down to those reeds, it is just absolutely loaded with mozzies. So this is as far as I go. Well, good morning, and uh, it has been a really nice morning. Beautiful sunrise, amazing. But uh, could be some bad weather heading our way. There's a lot actually going through the south. Well, not a lot, but a bit going through the south where I was last time. So, um, got me brew this morning. Gonna cook up breakfast really quickly, and then gonna make a dash over to. Mount Difficult and see if I can get up that this morning before rain comes through. So anyway, I'll sign off now and um, I'll talk to you on the road. Well, I uh, went to the uh, Mount Difficult car park and um, trailhead car park and I found out that uh, it's a bit beyond me. It's uh, over eight kilometers and that's probably too much for my knees so I'm heading up the Mount Zero Road now and um, I'm gonna have a look at Mount Stapleton uh, just see how far that is to the top of that uh, if not I'll come back and I'll do Mount Zero so uh, I've got a plan now um, I should have done some more research on the Mount Difficult Trail um, and found out how far it was before venturing there probably about five six kilometers as much as I want to do or as much as my legs can handle okay well I've come up with a uh, plan whether it eventuates is another thing I'm going to do the Mount Stapleton walk according to this it's 4.6 kilometers return funny though when you walk over here it says going that way it's at 2.3 kilometers so maybe that's one hour yep mount stable and 5k return anyway we'll give it a go here we are up flat rock you've got to follow the yellow markers well I've made it to the top of flat rock and I now have to go down and then under that and along there and around the corner in the middle that big orange overhanging wall is called Taipan wall it was a huge mega rock climbing cliff uh, it's surprising how uh, far over it hang it overhangs i did a climb on the very end of it out here and i've done a lot of climbing in through that sadly now climbing is banned on there until the indigenous owners and the parks department can come to some sort of arrangement so i don't see much hope for it ever happening so 
very, very sad that they can't come up with some kind of compromise to let climbing there, but it is what it is. And here I am, smack bang under the meat, underneath the middle of, well actually on the end of Taipan Wall. It doesn't actually do it justice how far over uh, it hang, overhangs. You only find that out when you get to the base of the cliff and lean back. It is one steep cliff. Um, up, up in that part there. Somewhere is a 50 meter abseil. It's um, probably the biggest abseil I've ever done and it's a doozy because you come off the top and um, you're on the rock for about three and four meters and then you overhang, takes you off the rock and you're free fall for 40, about 48 meters. Unbelievable. Well, this is not the top. Uh, just off to the side of the trail. I think I've got a, under a K maybe to go, but um, quite a good view. And if you look out on the horizon, you can see a bump to the left of that big one. That's Mount Arapiles. And then we head out to the Wimmera Plains where I grew up. And there we go, I was uh, right with under a, a kilometre, it's actually 490 metres to the top, so it'll be a lovely little climb. Go. Well, technically it's um, not really the top. I think the top would be up there, but I think it's a bit dangerous to get to. Maybe my rock climbing days I might have. So I'm not gonna attempt it now. But they call this the top of Mount Stapleton. So that's Mount Difficult on the horizon in the middle. What I was going for this morning over far as the uh, ass's ears and then over there in the middle black range and that little lump there on the right is not Arapiles because Arapiles is out over there Well, I'm on my way down now and um, just coming under Taipan Wall and I actually remembered years ago when I was a mountain biker, well I am a mountain biker still technically, but when I first did it back in the late 90s, I actually rode my bike down this ramp and I remember as I come down this ramp, a bushwalker came out and, of the bush and looked up and he was staggered to see someone riding their bike down here. Don't think I'd be able to do it these days.
Oh, I made it back. What do we got time-wise? Quarter to 12, so pretty good. Nice walk, really enjoyed it. Quite a few people on the trail, but not overcrowded. Anyway, I've got to head down back into our stall because I need some vegetables and um, I'll grab yourself a Coke on the way back because it's a bit thirsty and ran out of water. So I'll talk to you soon. There is rain on the way. Uh, don't know how much. Seems to get down this way and then fizzles out. But I think I'm going to get some. couple of beautiful black swans out there. And now I'm here, that's for certain. Put out quite a few alarm calls. And uh, there's a lot of black swans out there. Huge amount. Probably about 30 of them. As you can see, that weather looks threatening. But, uh, like I said, it just seems to fizzle, which is good, which is good. Not complaining. It's almost mirror here. Got a couple of black swans just coasting along. Okay, well, I've been driven inside by um, the bugs. Got me dinner done, and then I had to rush around and have a quick shower and um, get me dishes done. But yeah, the bugs just unbelievable. Couldn't couldn't function out there. It was just staggering how many bugs were out there. So anyway, I've got a movie to continue to watch in here. Um, <laughs> sorry about watching me in bed, but. Um, not much choice. Anyway, I'm going to call it a night and uh, I'm going to enjoy my movie and i talk to you in the morning. Well, good morning. Been a very had a good night's sleep last night, yeah. But the bugs, yeah, they were bad. Put me in bed quite early. Um, got me brew going. We had a bit of rain last night. Um, I was expecting more rain today, but it looks like as if it might clear up. Not so much clear up, but certainly not rain on me anymore, which will be good. So hopefully, I can get everything dried out. Get my bed all dried out and um, slowly pack up and head back home. Well, uh, I'm on my way home now. I just stopped outside of Ararat, a place called Green Hill Lake, and had myself a cuppa. It's been a great couple of days. Really enjoyed the hike yesterday. Really, really good. Great views. Anyway, that's all for this video. So if you like this channel, subscribe to it. And I'll see you in the next one.